All right, just for fun, thought we spend a little time on common factors today. Common factors, let's see. Common factors, common, shared, so shared factors. Let's try eight and 24. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor out eight. And the way I'm gonna do this is this. I'm gonna do this this way. I'm gonna start out a list. I'm gonna say one times something, one times eight, isn't that right? I'm gonna start from smallest to largest, then two, yeah, two times four, right? Three, no. Four, yes, but we already have it. So those are all the factors of 24. Not bad, right? And then let's do, let's do 24 in green, 24 in green. So 24, the factors of 24 are one times 24, hope I have enough room, two and 12, right? Three and eight, four and six. Look, I would ask myself about four again, but I already know I have it, right? So what are the common factors? They are one, they're common. This one, they both have one. They both have, let's make this better looking, shall we? They both have twos. They both have, they don't have three. Ooh, I almost messed that up. Four and eight. So the common factors of eight and 24 are one, two, four, and eight. So make a list. Common factors. One, two, four, and eight. And that's just the way I'd write that list. All right, you guys? Let's do another one really quickly. Let's do just one more. This is really important stuff. Uh, what happens is when you get the calculus and when you get to algebra one, algebra two, is that everybody assumes you know this stuff. And if you don't, it makes really tough math really, really difficult. But here's the good news. If you can do it, it makes tough math very doable. So let's see if we can't get this done, all right? All right, common factors. Yes, this is what we're going to do now. I'm looking for two new numbers to use while I'm cleaning the board and I find the numbers. The numbers I find are 45, 45 and 75. Wow, that's a little bit more. <laughs> I was so afraid I forgot to write the 75. 45, let's see. One times 45, don't we agree there? One times 45, two. No, it can't be 2 because, because 45 is an odd number, so it can't be divisible by 2. 3, 3, how do we figure that out? Well, 5 plus 4 is 9, so 3. 3 times something, 3 times 15. All right, good job, I heard you. 4, no, because 4 is even, right? 5, yes, 5 and what? 5 and 9. Whoops, that should be 5 and 9. Six, no, seven, no, eight, no, nine, yes, but we already have it. So here are all of our factors of 45. So factors of 45. All of these factors right here. Now we want factors of 78. We'll make 78 green, uh, yellow. So we have 75. So we have 75 is one, of course, and 75. I wonder if this has a lot of factors. Two, no, because it's, right, odd. Three, yeah, because we know three times 25, right? If we had three quarters, three times 25 would be that. Four, no, five. five I think it's five and 15. Five times 15. Five times five is 25. Carry the two. Five times one is five, plus two is seven. 75, so we have five and 15. Six, no. Seven, no. Eight, no. Nine, no. Ten, no. Here they are then. So what are the common factors? The common factors are, let's make our list now. The common factors are, dun, dun, dun. One, three, five, and 15. So our common factors are, one, three, five, and 15. Okay, you guys, I hope this was really helpful. Fractions are a pain in the neck, but they're really important, and that's why we're putting this together. So right now we're talking about factors, but we're going to go to fractions soon, okay? Good work.